With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what we need to determine? We need to determine the current in each branch of the network. Okay, so we need to current uh, determine the current in each of the branch. So how can we solve this situation since we need to find the value of the current? So we can apply our KVL. Okay, KVL and KVL would be applied in the loop. So for example, first in the first case, what we can select as our loop A, B, C, A. So if we apply our KVL in the loop A, B, C, A. Okay. So if we move into this direction, we are moving into the direction of current. So potential would be dropped. So it would be minus 8 I2. Then from here to here, also we are moving into the direction of the current minus 4 times I2 plus I3. Okay. Then into this, we are also moving into the direction of current. So potential would be dropped minus 2 times. Uh, current here is I1. And from here to here, we are going from negative to positive. So we are gaining potential. So plus 10. This would be equals to 0. Okay, so if you solve this, then it would turn out to be minus 12 I2 minus 4 I3 uh, then plus 2, uh, uh, this is minus 4, this is uh, for I3 and then with I1, it would be minus 2 I1 plus 10, this would be equals to 0. Okay, if you divide it by minus 2, whole expression if you divide it by minus 2, so it would turn out to be I1 plus 6 I2 plus 2 I3 this would be equals to 5. This is our equation 1. Okay. Similarly, we can apply our KVL in the loop, uh, this loop, uh, this uh, A, C, D, A. Okay. We can apply our KVL in the loop, A, C, D, A. So, KVL in the loop, uh, this uh, C, uh, C, A, D, C, C, A, D, C. Okay. We will be moving according to the loop. So, here also if we see, so from here to here, we will be losing potential, dropping potential in the resistor. So 2 into I. From here to here, we are moving from negative to positive. So we are gaining potential plus 10. In this branch, we are moving into the direction of current because we are moving in this way, like this. So potential would be dropped across the resistor minus 8 times. This is I1 minus I2 current value. And from here, so we are moving in this direction, but the current is in the opposite direction. So we will be gaining potential. So it would be plus. What is the resistance 4? What is the current value? I2. Uh, this would be I2 plus I3 minus of I1. Now net in a loop would be equals to 0. Okay, we come back to the C, C location. So if we solve this expression, then our result would turn out to be, our expression for current would turn out to be 7 I1 minus 6 I2 minus 2 I3. This would be equals to 5. This is our equation second. Okay, we can take the term I1 and, and I2. So this term is basically I1. Okay, then we will be getting this uh, value of the uh, this our equation. And we also need to uh, divide the equation by 2. Now what will happen? Uh, then uh, we can get our uh, third equation from here because there are three variables I1, I2 and I3. So we have found two equations. So third equation would be getting from this loop. If we move from B, C and B, uh, then C, then D and then moving from let's say this point is E then B, uh, uh, D, E and B, if we uh, choose our this loop. So KVL, KVL in the loop B, D, then E and then B, we are returning back. So from here to here, the direction of current is uh, in this direction. So we'll be dropping potential. It would be four times I2 plus I3. So we write four times minus four times basically because we are dropping uh, the potential would be dropped uh, I2 plus I3. Okay. Now this is one. Here also we are moving into the direction of current. So potential would be dropped. So minus 4 times. The current value is I3 plus I2 plus I2 minus of 1. Uh, this minus of I1. Now if we see from here, we will be moving from negative potential. This is the negative to the positive. So we will be gaining a potential of 5 volt. So plus 5. We will be gaining potential of 5 volt plus 5. So net would be equals to 0. Okay. Now if we solve this, then our final expression would turn out to be minus 2 I1 plus 4 I2 plus 4 I2 plus 4 I3. This value would turn out to be 2.5. Okay. Now if we, this is our equation 3. Now if we solve, solving, uh, solving 1, 2 and 3, 1, 2 and 3. If we solve this, 
then our values of i1, i2 and i3 would be i1 would turn out to be 1.25 amperes. Okay. I2 would turn out to be 0 0.3125 amperes. And I3 would turn out to be 0 0.9375 amperes. So these are the values of I1, I2 and I3. Okay. Now we need to find the current in each of the branch. So in the branch AB, what is the current value? Uh, we just write uh, in the branch AB. Current value is equals to what? I2. And I2 value, we are just writing the current here. Okay. In this branch, we are just writing the current. Current value in terms of ampere. So I2, I2 value we know, uh, uh, we have just found the value of I2. I2 value was 0.3125. So we write the answer as 0 0.3125. Okay. This is the current in the branch AB. Now in the branch BC, this branch, what is the value? It is I2 plus I3. So I2 plus I3, that means 0 0.3125 plus 0 0.3125. 9375. If we add these two values, so our BC would turn out to be 1.25 ampere. Now in the branch, uh, then we can find from C to D. Uh, sorry, C to D in this branch. C to D, what is the current? This is uh, uh, this I2 plus I3 minus I1. So I2 plus I3, uh, that is the current which is going here minus the current. So I2 plus I3. So this value I2 and plus this value. So this value summation we have just calculated 1.25. So if we subtract uh, uh, I1 from this, so the net answer would be equals to 0 because it would be I1 plus I2 value is 1.25. Okay, if we subtract I1, so it would be 0. Now, similarly from C to A, what is the value of the current in C to A? So, uh, C is this, A is this, so it is equals to I1. I1 value we, we know it is 1.25. We can see I1 value is 1.25. So, 1.25 ampere. Now, what is left? So, our left is A to D. A to D is I1 minus of I2. A to D, we just write. A to D would be I1 minus of I2. So I1 is 1.25 minus 0.3125. So this answer would be 0.9375. Okay. Similarly, we are just left with uh, our DB uh, with this. Uh, we are left with this I3 uh, value or we can say that DE or EB. So DE. DE, this would turn out to be, it is equals to I3 and I3 value is 0 0.9375 ampere. So these values are in amperes. So we have calculated the current in all the three branch. And here also the current value would be same because uh, this DE and BE basically values are same. Okay. So hope you understood this solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.